welcome to the unboxing of the P4 RTK Combo. The system consists of a base station as well as a drone for survey purposes. And we'll look at the tripod for the base station first. We got it out of the box already for you. It's an aluminium tripod with a customized head made by DJI. The next thing is to have a look at the base station itself. So let's get the little things out of the way. We've got two batteries. Got a little charge cradle. The charge cradle has got a little switch on it, and that may be handy. Um, normally the battery beeps when it is full. If you press a little switch, you can make it silent. And then you get a power supply, the Australian uh, mains adapter plug, you get a little hex tool, and the two cables. This is the interface cable to the uh, receiver itself, so you can update firmware, and there's a little adapter cable so you can do things in the field. All right, let's get on. This is the actual receiver. So inside here is the, the GNSS uh, receiver, doing GPS, Beidou, Galileo, and uh, GLONASS satellites, so all constellations. And that's got a battery uh, um, holder here. Now, normally, you assemble the pole first and then you put it in the tripod, but in this case we would hit the, uh, the ceiling. So I'm going to put the pole in first. And then we add the head. To switch on, you press and hold the middle button. The leftmost button it's for pairing to the drone, and the rightmost one is for the mode, so it depends on which machine you want to use it with. Furthermore, the supply includes the DJI manual and a quick start guide that uh, we put in there, uh, which will help surveyors get the right uh, answer from the drone. That's as far as the base station goes. Okay, next we're looking at the drone itself, the P4 RTK. Oh, it comes in a, a carry case, it's very compact, it's very neat the way everything goes into, into the one box. Uh, be aware, DJI calls this product a freebie, you get the case for free, but it means you get no warranty on it. So, um, we have other uh, more sturdy cases available as an option as well. So, if we look at the drone itself, Lift that out first and then the remote the, um, and putting it back together it goes in the opposite uh, direction. So the remote goes back in first, followed by the drone. Okay, the package comes with two batteries. There is a slot for a third and you can leave one in the drone itself, um, meaning that the whole kit can contain four batteries maximum. Yeah, so two is standard and two are optional. You remove the gimbal holder, the travel protection, and then there is a bit of grey foam underneath here for extra um, security during transport. I like to put a little string on it so you can actually see it, otherwise it's easy to forget and then um, if you don't take it off, the drone will start up and it might actually overheat, so we don't want that. Um, this is the P4 RTK. One thing you notice immediately is the bigger antenna as compared to the little commercial units, the P4s. Um, this is a survey grade GPS uh, antenna and there's a survey grade GPS board inside. That's why it's uh, more expensive than the, the P4 Pro. Um, over here you can see the battery compartment with the serial number. The serial number uh, you'll need um, for registration, the, uh, for registering the drone with CASA. We'll talk about that later. So, you got the drone, I'll put it a little bit to the side and then we get the charge cradle. It's the same cradle as we have with the base station, so that's handy in case you lose one or forget to take it with you from the motel room or whichever way you forgot about it. There's a power supply. The power supply connects to the, the little charge cradle, but it also connects to the battery hub. So the hub allows you to charge three batteries at the same time. Um, one thing to be noted here is that it has got a charge and a maintenance 
switch. So in maintenance mode, it will discharge to about 30% for transport and, and uh, storage um, um, purposes. Uh, you'll see the light is blue. So if you see blue light, it ain't charging. Yeah? So if you rock up the next morning, then your batteries are only half full. With this kit, you get three cables, one for the drone, one to connect the remote control um, to the drone with the remaining cable. Okay. The P4RTK comes with a remote control that has a built-in screen. But what is different is that it also contains um, a 3G or 4G modem. Now, to open it up, you turn it over and there's a little notch here. You grab that and then the lid comes off. This is the actual 4G modem. So you can put the micro SIM card in here and place it back in. Yep, the battery goes in here. Um, and to release the battery, you press that button here. If you want to fly, you need propellers. So you get two sets of props. Yeah, so there's a spare set with it. Two are marked with a silver line and two are marked with a black line. They fit diametrically on the, on the drone so that they rotate, rotate in opposite directions. Yeah. You get a power cord for the charger. A manual, and the manual also has a little plastic bag in with two screws. That is so you can secure, once you've set everything up, um, you can remove these feet of the remote and put little, the little screws in to secure the lid in there. Okay, now, I did mention this briefly. Since January of uh, 2021, it is compulsory in Australia to uh, register your drone with CASA. Um, this P4 RTK uh, is sub two kilos, which means it can be flown with conditions um, without having a CASA license to fly. So you do not need a pilot license to fly it. And therefore you may not have been made aware that a drone registration is compulsory. So we put a little flyer in it and that will explain that. Part of flying a drone means that you're on the risk of crashing it. So DJI have an, an option called Enterprise Shield and that covers you for, the, uh, for user errors, for unforeseen crashes. Um, so if you've taken out that option, we'll include a copy of the paperwork for that in the supply as well. And at Position Partners, we pride ourselves in, in providing support, um, high-grade uh, technical support for drones for anything that we sell effectively. Uh, with drones, it is not only the, the certification, um, so you can get a pilot, pilot license in cooperation with uh, AV Assist, um, but also training in how to operate it, how to get the, the best out of the system, and software training. Now, so if you take out the uh, ARPAS support contract, you get a copy of that as well. And then finally, as part of the supply, uh, we provide a copy of the pre-delivery um, the pre-delivery sheet. So we run through a whole process when we set up the system so that when you get it, um, it's ready to go. So it includes the firmware updates. Um, it includes checking the settings on the system that they are what you, what you, what you are likely to use. Um, there's a number of functions that are really handy in, in the survey that we want to have switched on. Uh, we go through all the kit to make sure that all the components are in there. And finally, we do a test flight outside so to make sure everything works and everything is hunky-dory. And then everything goes back in the box. We check that everything is in there. The SD card is back in the, um, in the drone and it will be sealed and it's good to go. So the next step is to go to pre-delivery and then we'll go to a test flight. Mm -hmm.